right, so for this dragon tail fly, it's gonna be really, really simple. We're just gonna start here with our white thread. And I believe the hook we're using is the Short Shank Gamagatsu SL12S and a one on I had these hooks laying in my tackle box and I haven't had the labels on them for a very long time now, so I'm not exactly sure what size and type hook this is, but I am pretty sure it's a one on SL12S of the short kind. Any short shank and wide gap hook is gonna be great for this fly. So we're just gonna grab one of our micro dragon tails in white. And so this is pretty much gonna be the whole tail of the fly. This is gonna supply all the movement of the fly. And then from here, after we tie this on, all we're gonna have to really do is build a head on top of it. We're just gonna come in right here and tie this on. And just to make sure that this tail wouldn't fall off when we're fishing it or after it gets a bunch of bites or whatever, we're gonna not trim this. We're just gonna pretty much tie all of this in so we have a lot of that material holding it onto the hook. So when a fish bites it, it's not just gonna rip off after the first couple times. After that, we're just gonna put a nice layer of thread on top to get rid of all those fuzzies. Doesn't really matter, the fish won't really mind, but my OCD does, so we're just gonna cover those up. And then from here, we're really just gonna add a head on top. You can just put Palmer chenille from here and do that all throughout, but we're just gonna add some white marabou to make a little sort of body slash head. And I'll just put some nice flare on it. So we're gonna grab one plum of white marabou. And then we do not want the stem in the middle, so we're just gonna pull off all of these little feathers off the side of the stem. like this after pulling it off the stem you'll end up with a free little batch of feathers that look like that so we're just gonna want to do this on both sides you don't have to get every single feather but try your best to get everything just to not waste material but just get the amount that you want now that we have all of our marabou plucked out, we're gonna take it and bunch it up together. And any of like the straggler pieces, you can just pull that out and throw it away. And now we're just gonna measure up and see about how long we want these fibers to be. So we're just gonna want them be right about there. We just want a little poof of flare before we put on that Palmer chenille. So we're gonna wrap these around the whole hook shank 360 degrees. And just make sure that marabou is covering all of that. And there's no real blank spaces in between. But that looks good. So we can just grab this excess Come in and trim it. So we're just gonna cover up the rest of those little fuzzes with the thread. And from here, if you wanna make a shorter fly, usually with these longer tails, people only make the head to about there. You can make it to right there, it just depends how big you want the head of your fly to be and it just really comes down to preference and what exact type of fish you'll be going after and um, what bait you're trying to uh, mimic. But for us, we're probably gonna go to right about almost the midway point to right about there. And so we're just gonna grab our Palmer chenille and you'll start to know about how long a piece you need to cut off for how big a head you want but we're just gonna eyeball it and make sure 
you cut more than you need rather than less just to give yourself some room to work with. So we're just gonna come in, tie it in on top. Make sure that's secured. And we're just going to bring our thread down to the nose of the fly. All right, and from here we can just start to wrap it on. And basically, you'll wrap it to right about where you want the head to be finished, depending on how big you want it. And then we'll just catch it with a thread and our fly will be finished. So I'm actually liking the look of bringing it a little closer to the nose. Again, you can stop it right about there. Some people like to have these heads kind of more towards the back of the hook point. But we're just gonna bring it to the nose and come and stop it with our thread. Just give it a few extra wraps to secure it before cutting it, just so you don't accidentally grab it and pull it out and unravel it when you're trying to cut it. So now we're done with that part. Over here we can just cover up all the extra little fuzzies or whatever and try to make a little nose for our fly. Here, we're just going to whip finish and then add our eyes. Imagine, if you will, sitting down to your morning coffee, turning on your home computer to read the day's newspaper. Well, it's not as far fetched as it may seem. It's so, before adding any super glue or anything, we're going to get our eyes out and stick those on first. From here, you can just go ahead and slap on those eyes or you can trim this Palmer chenille to make a little more tapered head. Um, I kind of like the bulkiness of it since this is gonna be a tiny bit bigger of a fly. So I'm liking the look of how it is now, untrimmed. But again, that's preference. If you want your head a little more trimmed and clean cut, you can go ahead and cut it. But from here, we're just gonna go ahead and add the eyes to it. These are gonna be quarter inch super pearl holographic eyes from Hairline. These are probably the best eyes I've seen. Best Pro also has really, really cool eyes that are a little bit cheaper that you can buy in bulk, but Hairline does make, I think, the best looking products, especially eyes. So we're just gonna slap these on, right about there. And turn it, and the exact same thing. And we're not putting any super glue on these beforehand. We're just peeling them off and sticking them right on the fly. And then we're gonna come back afterwards and add the super glue. You just wanna look at it from the top and make sure your eyes are going to be equal and how far down the head they are. And you're also going to want to look at it like this. You see this one's kinda wonky and a little bit down, so we're gonna bring it up a little bit where we want it. That's where it'll look good. So now you can see holding the fly flat and straight. And they look pretty symmetrical. So now, once you have your eyes in the spot that you like them, Come in and have our vise hold it for us. And from here, I like to use super glue. You can use Loon Epoxy instead, but I feel like super glue just really 
it sticks everything together. But either one will work. But we're just gonna come on and put it and kind of stick the eyes to all of the surrounding fiber. And then we're also gonna get the nose of this fly super glued. And then make sure you like your eyes one last time. And they look good. So we're gonna come in and do the exact same thing. Just kind of stick those eyes to all of the fiber surrounding it. And after this, don't let the fly get touched by any fibers or anything weird because, and especially don't touch it with your fingers because that'll leave a whole fingerprint on the eye, which I've definitely done a lot when I was starting. And anything that is gonna touch this fly right now is basically gonna stick to it and you're gonna have to try and peel it off and it's just gonna end up possibly ruining some parts of the fly. So just let it sit in the open and dry for I'd say about 15 minutes before touching it at all. Um, but yeah. And here we have our micro dragon tail fly in all white. To make these dragon tails in a bunch of different colors, you can do a lot of different colors with this and it comes out is a really, really good looking bait fish. Um, and this tail has a lot of movement, as you can see here. Um, this is, I think the smallest one they make, this is the micro and it's a four inch tail. Um, they are usually very big when you make them and I'm pretty sure they're meant for um, just big game tarpon flies. But with these smaller ones, I'm sure snook, bass, Redfish, trout, basically anything that'll destroy a bait fish will love these. And so there we have it, our micro dragon tail fly. This one was super easy and quick to tie, as you can see. And you can mix and match colors as you like. But this is pretty much the best all around bait fish that's gonna have a lot of movement. That's also gonna be super, super quick to tie because most of it is just this dragon tail that you're gonna tie in. So there it is.